Mm. 97 phases out, and basically, no more singles after giving a baby. So it's like, all right, what now? So mm -hmm. Mark, this is what was told to me. I, as I get older, I'm, I'm thinking something different. But okay. 98 comes, Mark tells me that Universal decides not to renew his deal. Uh, basically because... Not to renew his, his, deal, his deal, okay. By storm. Okay. Um, basically because they gave him budgets and he didn't make that money back with his mm -hmm. artists. He mm -hmm. signed not only me, but he has a, a, a couple other acts that were up under the label. Okay. So he tells me, yo, Universal job, but they're not letting you go because you show signs of potentially making some of that money back. Mm. So what they're going to do is give you another budget to make another record, to make okay. another album. Okay. But Mark leaves. So, but, but, and, and at first I'm thinking, okay, I'm getting another opportunity. This is at that time. Mm -hmm. But I have different thoughts later, even now. At that time, it's like, okay, they're giving me another budget. I can make another album, da 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 Cool, we good. Mm -hmm. So Mark goes and gets another deal with LaFace. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's good with L.A. Reid, you know yeah. what I mean? He becomes his understudy, so to speak. So he jumped right back into something. He jumped right back, and he signed another act, and blah, blah, blah. Um, um, uh, One Life to Live, that's the name of the, the, the group. Shout out to them, they're from the Bronx. Um, but I'm on Universal, but this is like 98. Going into 99, I got a budget to make an album. When we actually make an album, it's called Live from the 215. I got a young Kanye West on this album who produced two, two, two records. Unre this, is, this is unreleased, unreleased. and, I, and yeah, I'll explain yeah, why. Explain yeah. that. I, that, that, that I know. Yeah, now, now like, you man, know. Yeah, I know yeah. that though. So we got a young Kanye uh -huh. on there for two records. That pro He produced two records. We got the likes of Corrupt on there. We got the likes of Buckshot Shorty. We got Black Rob. We got... Uh, um, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, you know, my R and F crew, um, D Dot, and yep. myself kind of executive produced the, the album. Um, we make the album. It's done. Uh, we released the single. Still ninety eight. Still not ninety nine. Nine nine. We 99. released that ninety nine. <clears throat> ninety nine. Okay. We started releasing records from the album. We released a joint called Go Ahead. We white labeled it. You know what I'm saying? Just to get a, a tester out there to see if people liked it. Then we actually shot a video for this joint called We Like. Mm -hmm. Shot the video down in Atlanta. Um, uh, Brian Barber. Brian Barber is the director that shot all the Outkast videos. Okay. Shot the movie Idlewild. He okay. shot this video. Had the likes of a young Ludacris in the, in the, in the video. Had Lil John in the video. Mm. These were cats that were up and coming, not known time. to be yeah. Ludacris and Little John that we all know now. Yep. Um, you know, had the makings of kind of, I mean, doing the single, yes, yeah, doing something special. Um, started to do promo, got on the road, started to do promo. Um, and this is around 2000 now. You okay. know what I'm saying? Go to Miami, got a show in Miami, promo show. And this was kind of an omen. Get down there, it's raining the whole time. Come to find out the show's canceled down there. So we're sitting down there on a free trip. It's cool, but it's still raining. We can't really do nothing. Then I come back, get a phone call when I hit the airport in New York, JFK. It's from Universal. Get that call and says, uh, uh, we hate to inform you that your services are no longer needed. You've been and dropped this, from the label. And this was 2000. 2000, yeah. 2001. 